Ooh. Here's another really cool thing about these paradise boxes. They're nice and sealed. You try this shit with a wooden box. Because the girls are in here hiding. I've locked them up. I've shut their little door. So they've got their little door shut. There's a couple of ladies that are out foraging and having a bit of excitement. But anyway, so I've shut them in here. They've got the vent at the bottom, so they're still all cool. They like can ventilate a bit. But you do that with a wooden box, you get your blooming head full of bees without your suit on. So these are our kitchen cupboard bees, which I thought would make a very good addition to our top bar Langsworth, not Langsworth, that's the other dude, our top bar beehive in our fridge, because these girls already know how to build sideways. <laughs> anyway, I reckon that's a nice little flat spot. We'll just got a little flat area here, so we'll put our girls there, I reckon. Anyway, if all else fails, I've got a forklift so I can pick them up and move them if they give me the shits. Things are looking up. These are new Bessa blocks. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna we'll face the uh, face the opening. We'll face the opening this way because the wind comes whistling across the gully here pretty dramatically. Man, that's heavy. <laughs> I don't know what my immediate neighbours think of all this madness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fancy spirit level. Just forgot the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty good. Do you reckon that'll fall over? <laughs> Probably will, won't it? Now, we might have to do a little bit of daggy filming at the minute because um, I'm going to need the cameraman's muscles to get that thing out of the trailer. Now what did we decide to do? We we're gonna stuff a rag in the hole, weren't we? <laughs> oh shit, we didn't get any more gap filler. Fuck <sighs> out. Bloody hell, epic fail. Yet again. <laughs> we didn't have any gap filler and no battery drill either. Mind you, we probably don't need to worry about that bit yet anyway, we can just stick the rag in the hole. So that'll work. And then that'll get this project finished for today. And the ladies can get in there and do their thing and I'll put the Queen Excluder in the jolly um, freezer end and they can climb through the tunnel and hit the Queen Excluder. Hell, I don't know whether this is the ideal shirt for this project, but anyway. <laughs> um, I got a sheet in the back if all else fails. Oh, help. Got the pocket knife at home too, didn't I? I wonder if I've got a pair of scissors in my toolbox. Uh. Hell, George. Hey, look at that. Oh. Oh, you never know what you're going to find in the back of my ute. <laughs> this might be a little bit dodgy, mightn't it? How do you reckon, Larrikin? I think this is a stupid idea. Probably. I think I'm, hang on, I'll go and get those scissors and trim it to the right size. Top bar beehive in a fridge. <laughs> you know, when I thought that up in my twilight awake state, I thought this would be pretty groovy. It'd actually be a bit of fun. Maybe we could start a competition for fridge bee making. But I don't know. Further you go along, you think. Oh my god. Whose stupid idea was this? The only person to blame is myself. No, that's a shit idea too. Mm. <laughs> this project's been going on so long that we can't even wait for the silicon to set. <laughs> oh yeah, throw that in there because we're not going to have anybody in this end for a little bit. 
That'll be another, that'll be episode six of this fridge building insanity, won't it? We actually ever get these bees to be alive in this fridge and they happen to get to that bit. Oh, yeah. I think it would be a lot easier just to buy a proper bee box. <laughs> So we've got a few frames in this old box here. But I've got a few, um, well, they've got a bit of honey, not honey, but they've got a little bit of comb from the other girls that had them beforehand. So I figure we'll stick them in here to fill up the box. We've got some ladies in this box that will pop in. And then we'll, I think before we get that excited, though, we'll get our suits on because that could just get a little, these girls are a little bit shitty bums. <laughs> Anyhow, sorry if we put that there. Now, if you're wondering, I fumigated these frames, so they should be all good. All right, I reckon that's enough of them for the minute. The neighbours have turned up to say hello, but I don't know that it's the welcoming committee. It might be the kick and ass committee. So anyway, we'll find out. Find out whether we've done these girls an injustice. One would hope this would have to be a little bit better than the kitchen cupboard that they came from, wouldn't you? But, anyway, we'll soon find out. And of course, just as a footnote, the bloody rough bush bee man forgot the smoker, so, hell, we'll find out what goes on when we get them in, up here and into there. There might be just a, just a little bit of a flutter of the little bee wing, I think. <laughs> They're just a little bit excited. Anyway, here goes nothing. Shit. I'm glad I got my bee suit on with this lot. <laughs> They're already trying to sting me. Look at that lot. Here they come. If this lot survives our attempt to be idiots, <laughs> they'll be bloody keepers. Sorry, chicks. Oh, hang on. We'll give them the hive mats. We'll give them a bit of warmth. We'll give them these little mats so they can have a bit of warmth. Just in case they get a bit cranky in here. That'll give them a bit of a helping hand. Post. Yeah, funny fellas. We're just letting them cluster up here a little bit and then we're going to tap a few more into the box. And um, I think we might come back after lunch and see what the hell happened. They definitely stirred them up a little bit. Beekeeping 101, probably things not to do. Things not to do when you make a fridge bee box. <laughs> Oh, far out. We've definitely got less bees on the outside now, so we should be all good, I reckon. Hopefully the ladies find this fridge a nice happy home. Mind you, I was just noticing that I've had a little bit of a lapse of sanity and I've put the door, on my first one I made, I had the door on the other side, over so the, oh, the opening, so as when you open the door, you would um, be behind the opening. Anyway, so this isn't exactly the hive that we were working on, but I thought I'd show you the fact that it did actually work, because you're probably not going to believe me. The concept, though, as I said earlier on, is that I've actually, top bar beehives you have, like the complicated bit like that, where I've made this, so as obviously like you've seen, I made this just with normal frames, so as I can interact with my other boxes. So shall we open the lid and see what went on in this? This is a different design to the one we were watching. Okay, so keep that in mind. I got my fancy leg. <laughs> If I got motivated, I'd make a chain up. 
So, the only thing that I wonder about is that I don't sure how the fuck they get out of here when I lift this lid off and the bees all do their thing and they get running down the walls because I haven't quite finished all that off yet. It, um, they could freak themselves out. But anyway, so we've got our lid, which we made. And, oh, they've stuck, the, stuck it down a bit. <gasps> so when we, oh, don't bang anybody. Remember, rule number one with bees, don't make any loud noises. Look at that. There they are, they're all bloody crazy. <laughs> anyway, check that shit out. I think we'll just put them back to bed. Well, this is the nuts just to show you that well, what we were working on actually does work. I don't think the young fella would believe me, so I thought I'd show him. <laughs> anyway, check them out, laying it in and out. They're a bit excited. This is probably the only drama that I can envisage so far with my mad plan, is that getting them out of there. I might, well, I thought about drilling a hole in the lid so they could escape, but then I figure, then they'll just start going in and out of there <laughs> instead of going in my little holes at the front. Anyway. Just thought I'd show you that it did actually sort of work, even though they've only been in here for a week. I'm guessing that the bush bee man is not too proud to admit that he's wrong, because you would have already seen my whole flute exercise. I just thought I'd show you what messed up shit happens when, because I had a, the bees that are in the fridge over there, used to be here, and I moved them and I was going to just put them just there, but it didn't quite work out, so they ended up a bit further away because I was here by myself and I couldn't lift the bloody fridge over here because the full thing's a bit heavy, which is probably a disadvantage with the top bar hive that are a little bit heavy to move. But anyway, these girls are still orientated to this spot because, as you said, we just lift the lid up and then they all got a bit freaked out. And when they get a bit freaked out as to what the hell were they doing, they fly back here where they think they were had home. So it's kind of groovy. Look at that. Look, see, they're all just trying to figure out where the hell are we? Now how bloody smart, how, I don't know how big an insect's brain is, but how bloody smart are they that they can remember, like they've been in that box for a week now, and now they've just got a little bit freaked out, and they've congregated back here where they used to live. Now, I don't know, I reckon that's pretty bloody clever that they know where they should have been. So it'd be interesting to know how big is a bee's brain, but I don't know, but they're bloody smart anyway. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe we might, we might actually be able to bloody, um, market the fridge B box but anyway even if we don't get to market the bloody thing thanks to our patreon supporters you blokes actually got to see what the hell we can get up to this is recycling gone mad yeah.